Hey, hey, is this thing on? Hey, coming to you live from Seattle, Washington, in the King Comfort Live Studios, where we feed your brain and push your patience. So let's introduce you to the kings of the Bicklewatt Palace and your masters of performance selling. Here they come. It's Ron Motto and Brad Wilson. Wilson. Whoa, yeah. Yes, sir. Good to be back. King Comfort Live. Welcome back, everybody. Yeah, it feels good to be back. All right. Today, we're going to discuss our clear air makeup air unit or the MAU series for short. And for those of you that are unfamiliar with the concept, the makeup air unit is designed to make up the air in interior spaces that's been removed by exhaust fans. Right. It's really that simple. You know, a building's existing ventilation system, so all that duct work and, and other systems, and the MAU, they work together to ensure that the building's pressure is maintained. Mm -hmm. And also while eliminating temperature, it, it eliminates temperature fluctuations by preheating the incoming fresh air. That's right. That's a very good explanation. It's all about bringing fr in fresh air, clean air into the building, which is essential for any environment to stay healthy. When you combine today's airtight construction techniques with high CFM exhaust fans that are now common in virtually every building out there, excess humidity and airborne pollutants can easily get trapped in the air. The results can have serious consequences on the structure of the home or the business, not to mention the health of the actual occupants. Yeah, those are the most important. Yeah. All right, so our MAU clear air system is a simple package solution that was designed to make up that lost air that we talked about and replace it with the clean air that Brad talked about. Mm -hmm. And we want to eliminate temperature fluctuations even in the dead of winter. It's right. going to regulate the we temperature. We want to be comfortable the all the setup. time. So yeah. bringing in cold air is not really cool. It's, I mean, it is cool. It's, you <laughs> want it to be warm. So what the, the makeup air, without the makeup air, depressurization occurs lowering the pressure indoors relative to the outside air. This negative pressure can cause various problems, such as hindering the natural drafts from gas appliances, or can even lead to backdrafting, which can result in a, co a combustion gases like carbon monoxide entering into the indoor airspace. So if you had like a big fireplace, and you had a big exhaust fan in the kitchen, it could actually draw the air down the flue and pull it into the house. And now you've got carbon monoxide and flame inside, right, Ron? Next thing you know, they make a Hollywood movie. Right, right back draft. Yes, absolutely. Okay, and it, that is serious. And it's why we developed the MAU. Um, you know, our MAU system, it features energy efficient ECM motor, and we combine that with a fully modulating heating unit and a fresh air logic control circuit. And uh, it can be configured for, to just about any application. Yeah, and it's versatile. Uh, all in one package unit, including a duct sensor, which you see uh, up here. Um, the duct sensor and a proportional control to so you have precision set points and can maintain a target inside temperature or the duct temperature, the fresh air coming in with no problems at all. Yep. So that uh, incoming air gets preheated. And then we have a solid state relay that modulates the heat so that the room stays within a few degrees of the set points, very highly accurate. Um, even when the outside air could fluctuate quickly, especially right. in winter, the you know, temperature swings up and down. Inside is going to maintain a very strict tolerance. Yeah, King offers a full line of models and that, that cover a large CFM range, all the way from 700 CFM to 1700 CFM, and that's at 0.2 static pressure. And the KW ranges go from 5 to 34 KW of heat. We offer models in 208, 240, and 48, 480 volt in single or three phase. So really, it's a wide range of coverage and can handle most building requirements that's, that are needed. That's right. All right. So we're going to watch a video here that we put together. Uh, um, so this video does a great job of providing insights on exactly how the system works and more importantly, how to size a unit to the space. Um, I interviewed Dean Wilson, our CEO. He was actually instrumental in, in developing the control circuit for this heater. Um, so he's got a lot of val valuable insights. So let's roll the video, Kirk. Dean, I think it's safe to say that the MAU series is one of the most well-documented products we have here at King. And the documentation that we provide details out every aspect of the MAU. 
from the technical parameters to the various makeup air components that can go into making a, a full makeup air system. And today, I think uh, you know we should review those details so that the viewers can see what it all looks like. Uh, maybe the best place to start would be for Dean for you to discuss an example of one particular application. Um, and I think that might answer many of the common questions about exactly what an MAU can do and how it can be configured to control. So, uh, Dean, I understand you had a recent example that you wanted to discuss. Yeah, I, this is a great opportunity it came in for a, from a customer who was trying to solve a, uh, a difficult uh, application as they were adding it on uh, uh, secondary. And uh, I thought it'd be a great example to share with the viewers and kind of uh, because it brings up a lot of the common questions that are asked. So with that, Ron, I'm going to go ahead and take the screen from you and uh, share an email that we got from a specifying engineer that was trying to solve a problem. So what you're looking at there is a sketch that they sent in that that uh, shows the application of uh, this particular MAU unit. So if you look over here at the top, you've got kind of a complicated duct system um, feeding into the MAU. The MAU that he has drawn in there is a 35 kW uh, unit, and he's mounting it, uh, trying to mount it uh, kind of horizontal or vertical in a uh, 30 degree offset. And you see quite a few turns on the incoming duct work that he has some questions about. And then on the discharge side down at the bottom, they're feeding into an existing return air system and they're feeding fresh air or makeup air into the HVAC system. So this makeup air unit is not heating the whole building. It's just preheating the incoming fresh air uh, that you need by code to have a, a, a healthy building. And uh, he uh, then asked a lot of good questions. First thing he wanted to know is whether or not the, the unit could be mounted in this vertical downflow position offset by 30 degrees. The answer is yes. Well, you can mount this, uh, uh, the King MAU in any orientation, horizontal, vertical, or, or any angle. It's got a, a, a scroll cage blower in there with an all angle motor. So it's no problem mounting it in any, any position. So we've got that, that question out of the way. Um, next thing he asked is, you know, there was very complicated ductwork system uh, getting to the unit. Now, normally you have you would uh, design this straight through, but since this was an application after the fact that they were adding in, they had a very limited space and therefore had some some comp complicated ductwork. So, so to answer that question, it just really comes down to how much external static is is in the system. So we publish. Um, are static um, based on the, uh, the unit of the size. Now, in this case, uh, the 35 kW unit comes with a three-quarter horsepower motor. And with that, if you look at the table below, it shows everywhere from one-tenth inch of static all the way up to one inch of static. So as long as the customer did not exceed uh, one inch of static and uh, was getting uh, sufficient CFM uh, through the unit, um, it would be applicable. So what I'm asking here is for the engineer to simply uh, do his do his static calculations with the duct work, and if it falls within the parameters of of our unit, uh, no problem. It would be it would be uh, easy to use. Why don't you uh, give the viewers just a quick explanation of what static pressure is and how that applies? Sure. So static pressure is just the the, the resistance in the system. It's uh, it, it's causing friction through the duct work. It's restricting the size, so there's not a free open airflow. So the higher the static, just the more resistance that the blower is going to feel to pull the air in. So as the static pressure increases, as you can see from the table down below, uh, the, the CFM is going to drop. So this unit comes standard with a three ordered horsepower motor that's set to high speed or 45 uh, inch pounds of torque on the unit. And if we look at the first value, if it's just at, uh, say, 0.2 inches of, of static or water column, um, you're going to get uh, 2,174 CFM out of the unit and a 51 degree temperature rise. But as the static increases, let's go all the way out to one inch. You can see that you're now dropping almost in half to 1,232 CFM and really bumping that temperature rise up. You're just not getting enough air over the unit and you're going to really get into a, a high temperature rise. So as long as it falls within the parameters of what the engineer is to look for, um, um, this is an apl applicable unit. And again, Basically, the the engineer would have to determine the static pressure for their specific system and then see if it if our unit is capable of, of working within those parameters. Makes sense. Right. 
Right. So in this case, the engineer kind of asked us, hey, would that be OK? We really can't answer that question uh, without knowing the, the the size of the duct and the turns and this and that. Not enough detail. So we can assist in that, but it's really the engineer uh, designing his ductwork system. And again, it's external pressure, the internal static drop of the unit uh, pulling the air uh, into our unit and over the heating coils has already been calculated and taken out of this particular static. Now, one thing to mention um, is that we do not include the filters. So I'll quickly take a, a look at the at the filter uh, uh, box that comes with the unit. Um, we set it up so you can take either a one inch filter or a two inch filter. It's a, it's a 16 by 20, 20 filter. Now, the reason we don't include that in our static calculation allows the engineer to select the type of filter that they want to use for the unit. For example, if you're in a clean room and wanted to use a HEPA filter, that's going to be a much higher pressure drop going through a HEPA filter than just, say, a, a loose-filled uh, fiberglass filter that you're going to use in a general application. Um, you also have, again, the option to go from one inch to two inch, depending upon how much filtration you're looking for. Um, the other thing I just wanted to mention is that the, the makeup air unit um, has uh, five speeds. Now, these are not variable speeds. These are five fixed speeds. And um, just a quick table here to help the field installer um, change the torque value, which is going to change, again, this, this CFM table up here to the desired level. So we set it up at, at um, um, the full torque value, but it can, it can be reduced back, which changes the amount of CFM coming out and changes the, the delta T. So very flexible unit here, Ron that um, can be field adjusted and we, we made it that way. So you get this broad range and can suit, suit many different applications within one unit. And these are ECM motors, so that, which makes it very easy to adjust these torque settings, right? Yes, and again, the ECM motor now is a design requirement for many buildings now in HVAC systems. So really high efficient electric, electric motors. We've been using these for over three years now, Ron, I've been really happy with the performance of the MAU with that ECM motor. We used to use the standard PSC motors, but boy, the, the efficiency of these, of these new motors is just, is just fantastic. So the last question that the engineer came up with is it looks like he wants to integrate it with a building automation system. So he's asking the question, will it work? Now, we're not experts on all the different building system management systems that are out there, but we have built the unit to be flexible to work with just about anybody's system. So what we do is really lay out our control scheme, uh, which is a standard uh, control scheme for a makeup air unit, and uh, and the engineer allowing the engineer to be able to understand how to tie it in. So so very simply, if you look at the control diagram down here, R1 and R2 is is a switch. Um, that's a 24 volt control and a building management system can tie right into that with a closed contact on the other side. So whatever is driving the need for air, say when the, uh, when the main, in this case, when the main unit turns on, and I'll kind of go back to that application. So when this main unit's gonna turn on, they're gonna wanna start this makeup air unit. So just simply a switch in parallel that, hey, when I'm turning on my heating system and firing up the, the blower on the, on the air handler, the King unit will, would automatically turn on with a signal, a 24 volt closed contact um, would, would turn the unit, unit on and there you, therefore you get the makeup air unit up and running. Other so control- they, The systems can get a lot more complicated than that. So we have these other control connections, is that right? Yeah, and this is really all self-contained as opposed to all of these features being tied in with the, um, with the uh, control unit. So the King unit, is really a plug and play makeup air unit. And I'll quickly go through go through some of the some of the control features. So you can see the thermostat tied in. Now this is all wired internally, and that is wired into the duct sensor. And as the uh, when the makeup air unit comes on, it's first going to be sensing that discharge air temperature. Now the thermostat is going to be preset by the contractor and um, will maintain that temperature. So if you set that thermostat to 70 degrees, whether the incoming temperature from the outside air is at zero degrees or at 50 degrees, it's gonna modulate the heat. That means quickly cycling an SSR relay uh, through uh, electric uh, resistance heaters and will maintain within one degree Fahrenheit that constant discharge temperature. So that's, that's really the beauty 
of the makeup air unit. And that's what it's all about, bringing in fresh air at any temperature and modulating it so you get a constant temperature coming out, out of the unit, feeding into that return air system so that now the fresh air can, can be put into the system and, um, and uh, uh, operate with, with the building system. Um, now with that, uh, these are some independent controls that come with, with the unit. Um, there's a lockout circuit. So this lockout circuit um, can be jumped if it's not being used. If the jumper is removed, you could hook, say, for example, an outdoor thermostat to it and a humidistat. What that would do is if it was too hot, um, you didn't want the, the bring the hot air into your building, this would lock it out and make that not make that not happen. Now that lockout could be connected to a building control system or a discrete um, device as shown here. Again, a humidistat, if it was too humid outside, you didn't want to bring that humid air into your building, um, it would lock it out. So even, even if the R1, R2 switch closed, the unit would not operate because of that lockout feature. It also can automatically turn on an exhaust fan. So this, is, this would be where um, the makeup air unit would, would be activating the exhaust fan through a, uh, through a closed switch. So you'd need a fan re relay in, in between our unit and the exhaust fan, but we provide the closed contact, which would activate that relay. So, so here you've got a design feature, very typical with a makeup air unit. You don't have to add any additional controls you know, no internal relays. It's it's built right into the control scheme of the makeup air unit. So you've got that closed contact to be turned on an exhaust fan, or or really you could turn on any accessory you wanted. The most common would be would be an exhaust fan. Um, the next terminals down below that are is the damper circuit. Now we provide a 40 VA, that's 40 volt amps of power at 24 volts to to energize that damper motor. And this comes on again when the unit is turned on. When R1 and R2 get closed, this automatically powers this circuit and you can use a most common 24 volt uh, damper motor with a spring return. So as soon as the power is off, the spring is gonna return that back to, to the closed position and allow, uh, uh, allow that fresh air not to come in anymore or that cold air not penetrating into the building anymore. Um, so that's basically the, the, the basic scheme, the 24 volt low voltage control operates on the unit. Now, all, everything I've just gone, gone over um, with you, Ron, is right here in our installation and maintenance manual. And this is where we, we, you let off, Ron, talking about how well documented the product is. We put a lot of time and effort into this installation manual to be able to answer all, all these questions in the field or by the engineer as, he, as he's specifying it. So, we start off with, um, well, here's a good look at the MAE right there. There is the uh, control contactor that you can see. Um, here's the 24 volt control strip just below the thermostat. Um, that is the um, proportional thermostat that provides the pulses to run the, they run the SSR relays. You can see the SSR relays here on the right. Um, they are solid state relays. And what you're looking at is the big aluminum um, heat sink that that is swiping the heat away from the SSR relays. One thing about those relays, they get really hot. They're cycling very fast and they can produce a lot of heat. So we provided a very large heat sink. And not only that, Ron, we put that heat sink into the incoming air that, that is coming in. So so if you think about this in, an out, in a uh, makeup air application, you could have, you know, 20 degree air coming in and those heat sinks are gonna swipe all that heat off. So not only that, you're kind of recirculating the heat. The heat is, that is being provided is now coming through the blower and getting a boost. That's really smart. Now, now we were talking a lot about uh, a makeup air application, which is, you, you know, works in conjunction with the existing exhaust system in the building. But as I understand it, you can also set this up as a standalone fresh air system. But what exactly is a fresh air system and how is that different? Yeah. So here's that example, Ron, that you were talking about on a direct ducted system. So here you've got a fresh air system that's distributed directly to each individual room. So this is not coming into the, the direct system. So let's just say that this, this particular building was heated with electric baseboard heaters, right? So it doesn't have a central HVAC system in which to feed the makeup air unit into. So here you would just have direct air uh, coming in and distributing it throughout the building directly through the makeup air unit. So this would just be running all day long. Say this is an office building with a lot of workers in it. You know, they need that fresh air, otherwise, 
you got to open the window or it feels really stuffy in the room because you're not exhausted you're not you're not turning the air over so there's lots of calculations on on how on how much cfm per person you're going to want in the room typically it's about 20 cfm per person so if you have a, a large meeting room you know that you want 20 people in there you might need as much as 40 cfm per hour just to keep those just to keep that air fresh and not have people fall asleep at your meetings. You know, I, I did have a couple questions that that I that I was thinking about. One is that, as I understand it, that these are plenum rated, and can you explain to us exactly what that means? Um, yeah, so that is a a, a UL um, a requirement for a ducted unit. When you, when you get into large makeup air applications, often the, the plenum is is the room that the that the building air system is pulling it in. So it's uh, it's all about following the regulations and, and the testing that's required to be in a plenum. Makes perfect sense. And I guess the last thing before we sign off is if if uh, a sales manager or somebody has a customer who's asking about MAU or makeup air units or our MAU, you know, what's the best way for King that King can support those customers and help specify exactly what they need? What do they need to provide to King? Well, we're 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 uh, we love to solve problems. We love to be solution providers. It's really uh, really happy just to talk to our customers and see what what their applications are. And, um, and we've got a great set of engineers here. We developed this product in house. We took uh, all our heating knowledge over the past sixty five years and and applied it to a new category of of makeup air. And uh, you know, us getting into this market was was really driven by COVID and the need to bring more and more fresh air. We really understood what customers wanted, talk to our customers, and put all those design features in there. Wonderful. Well, I well, appreciate uh, all the insights and your time. I, I do want to reinforce that I view this as part of our normal product advisor program. So feel free if you have a customer or want to call us directly or email um, a specific application question. We're here to help. We have experts in-house, and, and we'll get you the right solution for the job. Great. Thank you, Ron. I really enjoyed it. Right. Well, what do you say? I say that's a lot of good information. Yeah, yeah good overview. I'm, that's overload. <laughs> overload. Yeah, so that's a good point. That's a lot to remember. I recommend that uh, that you reference the materials on our website if you have any questions. You know, if you and that to... wiring diagram was really good too that they had you had up there to, to how everything controls, and that's what I think the contractors are going to want to see too. Absolutely. Okay, let me share you share my screen real quick. I just want to go over quickly. Um, how you find the MAU on our website. So under products, commercial electric heaters, there's a makeup air unit section and you're going to find the clear air MAU and all that uh, that ins installation manual and all the details that Dean covered are down here under downloads. Uh, installation manual would be the main one that you could uh, review, but all that information is right there on our website. So feel free to go back and review it at any time. All right. Thanks for joining us at the King Comfort Live Studios. Yes, this is the Pigawatt Palace, and we proved it here today. Thank you very much for joining us, and take this information and do what you can with it. Remember, we are the masters of performance selling and electric heat solutions. The Pigawatt Company, King Manufacturing. Thanks a lot, guys.